everyone, this is Gary Kay, and we are here in Lausanne, Switzerland, in the Spinetics Experience Center, inside the Millennium. Now, if you don't know what the Millennium is, it's the smartest building in Switzerland. And we actually did a tour of the entire facility and how Spinetics is running experiential signage throughout the entire facility using ARIA. Um, and you'll understand what ARIA is because in addition to this Experience Center tour, we're gonna talk about ARIA as well. We're actually gonna do a demo of how to use it. Um, I'm here with Nicola. Uh, Nicola, first off, uh, tell me a little bit about what we're going to see today. It's all about experience, Gary. Welcome. Welcome to the team. You have an amazing team. It's all about experience and we bring this experience, we bring your story to life with screens, with digital screen. And this experience, we bring it globally with our ecosystem of resellers worldwide. It's all about autonomy as well. Everything you're going to see today, you can make it yourself. The end customer can make it. The integrator can integrate data, integrate smart building technology by themselves. Yeah, and, and, and also, you not only does Spinetics have the players uh, that output all different resolution and aspect ratios, as you're going to see, and even one player that outputs four 4K signals at the same time, but also you have Elementi, which is your content design software, in addition to Aria, which is your cloud management software. And we're going to show you different applications that Spinetics is covering, starting with uh, transportation and Wi-Fi. Yes, let's jump into it. Yeah, indeed, compatibility with any screens, any brands, any size. We do everything but the screens. Yeah. So basically, first you can see stretch screens, special formats, special resolution. Typically for wayfinding, for door, uh, for for signs in in an airport. Yeah. And this, what makes it special, is the end end user within ARIA, they have exactly the same template, the same Canva. So basically they can drag and drop their assets and they will see what they do. And basically all this is is two 16 by nine yes. images side by side. So it's a 32 by nine palette and you can put content wherever you want it to go. And in, the, yes. in, a, in, a, in a, a portrait configuration like this, you're showing wayfinding. Exactly. And can be as well LED, outdoor LED, because special formats, special ratio. Yeah. Can be it's the, just the aspect ratio of the resolution. Exactly. All you're but, doing is filling pixels. Yeah, we call this custom resolution. Yeah. And we can derive any custom resolutions. Yeah, excellent, excellent. And so this can be done using any of your players. Exactly. So we are compatible with any screens because you put uh, an external uh, media player. But as well, we have built-in inside Spinetics. We are gold partner of Intel. So we power up every Intel pat platform to make it a special screens for Spinetics with the DSOS digital signage operating system running on Intel. Perfect. Award-winning DSOS. Yeah, we've, we've given it a few uh, different awards uh, at ISC over the years at Infocom. So what are we going to see next? So video walls. So uh, so this is simulating a video. As you can see, this is one exactly. contiguous image. And this is actually using your new four output exactly. media player. Exactly. So what is that model? It's the IBX 440. 440. Uh, four output, 4K. Mm -hmm. So four times 4K. And what makes it special is we have a wizard in Aria. So by five clicks, you basically customize your shapes in five clicks. Anyone can make it. Wizard. The, so all you have to do to, to feed the wizard information is know the, the result. Two by two, one by four, four by one. And then what's this, the, the distance between yeah. screens? Well, what it. you've done here is a two by two, but you've offset the two by two. So you have to know the separation, the Perfect. space here, the, the the you you also need to know the um, the bezel exactly right and then the offset right because you have um, content that's not going to be exactly. here and, yeah and so that makes it contiguous and you're saying that your wizard handles all that exactly four questions and it's done it's okay and it can be any shapes and uh, it's four times four k so horizontal vertical screen yeah. as well as you want so and can you mix that can you do two horizontal two vertical in the same yeah. exactly okay. exactly. So it's, it's, it's really design standpoint. And it's, it's really a video wall processor. Exactly. Yeah. And it's only one one device, yeah. then one cloud license, very cost effective. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Let's move to interactivity. All right. So in here you have uh, interactive uh, device. So typically uh, you uh, you have a directory listings, uh, live TV if you want, and so on. So you can do by yourself a kiosk. And that's uh, connected through uh, USB. So USB devices, we typically lift and learn as well devices. 
So uh, here we change uh, for our US the content is changing. The content is changing, the lights are changing. So this is RFID based? Yes, exactly. RFID can be a bracelet, can be um, a typical retail product, and then you will see the product appearing there. So it's USB RS232. Okay. So you connect up some type of RFID device or some kind of trigger through USB and it makes that it, uh, selection. It's basically like switching. Switching it like a switcher, so an internal switcher. Imagine a museum. Yeah. Imagine a retail shop. You have you bring a total experience. And is this is this com, is this feature compatible with any of the players? Yes. Okay. Through USB, and right. we'll see after the IP interactivity. But here's any device. Okay, perfect. And what's next? Next, we we'll, let's talk about widgets. We have 250 widgets. Widgets. So like weather widget, for exactly. example. Uh, an airport scheduler widget, things like yes. that. Is that what you're talking about? As well, here we see the meeting we are having now. Gary and his team. It's a uh, uh, calendar widget. It's calendar widget. pulling directly from uh, the cloud, from Microsoft Cloud. So this could be used uh, as a room sign or exactly. even a control. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, and anyone can customize the widget. It's really, we have wizards in for every widget. So you select your data source, you select what you want to pull, list, sort, and so on. Well, how many widgets? 250. And are they, do you pay per widget? How does that? No, it's all included in LMNT. Okay, all part of the LMNT design. Exactly. For exactly. And uh, yeah. weather forecast, but as well XML. Um, I, I, I usually say, think about XML and not Pixel. Yeah. Think less so about Pixel. Anything you're getting off, yeah. of, off a website. That's, that's can, where we yeah, move from yeah. AV to IT. Yeah. So the integrator, they are autonomous in integrating data without having HTML5 skills. So the idea would be as an integrator that you would charge for that as, a, as an upsell as a feature. Most, yeah, most likely they will um, sell the template, they will sell the integration and they get the widget from LMNT yeah. out of the box. 250 widgets, so all the corporate widget, Excel online, calendar online, Power BI, whatever, SharePoint and so on but as well, raw data, XML, and so on. So you, you really like uh, go towards smart buildings with integrating the data in your building. Yeah, and actually we showed that here when we did a tour of the entire millennium. Uh, we, we actually toured the entire building here. It's a smart building, uh, 150 screens, the experience in those screens from retail all the way through food services, even a, a 500 seat auditorium with a, I don't know, probably 30 foot wide LED screen all driven by uh, Aria and Spinetics players. Exactly. All right, so what's next? With the widgets, I mean, uh, by default, the integrator, they must listen to the end customer. And sometimes the end customer just don't want a simple weather forecast. They want to customize it. So okay, yeah. the integrator can make it special. They can listen. And that's built in the element. Yeah, yeah. And they are autonomous to do it. They, they, they don't need uh, services from Spinetics. So basically, yeah. Uh, we are really uh, having a collaborative uh, uh, ecosystem of resellers. They get all the info from our wiki. It's all yes. included in the product. So if the web, the, the, clocks. the clocks, the clocks. If you customize it, that's the real clock at the right time, at the right day. Yeah. And you do it by yourself. Yeah. That's so cool. that's really cool. That's um, typically without HTML programming skills, the integrator can make it. And it's just a widget that you select in the in the wizard. Yes, exactly. So. Um, that's about widgets. Again, it's it's all about having autonomous resellers, so they can make it themselves. So yeah. wayfinding, you can make it simple with Arrow. Mm -hmm. but imagine you can do a directory listing or just exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Speaking about interactivity, let's jump into IP interactivity. Okay. Here you have a Kinex electrical button. Mm -hmm. This is uh, a, a button through IP then uh, sending an alert to... So this is KNX uh, okay. controller connected IP. Yeah. And all you're doing is, can, since you have your signage player connected yeah. through... In between, there is a QSYS core controller. Okay. And uh, that QSYS uh, controller is sending alerts to all the, the screens. So typically, if you have a visitor, a VIP visitor through the cloud, and that's what we love about it, it's from anywhere, from any IP device, through the cloud, you change the alerts. Yeah. Here, it's the VIP one. So it's an IP-based switch. Exactly. Yeah. And, and uh, within the logic 
of uh, QCIS, you basically can switch and take some uh, say some assumptions and rules. You can decide that VIP one doesn't want to see VIP two, yeah. and uh, you, you then have uh, the other message being uh, displayed while the first uh, VIP is not. So the idea behind here is that anyone, it, it's simple enough that anyone at a reception desk can make this change. Yeah, as you've seen, I mean, uh, these technology about automation, nowadays with the plugin we have with QCIS, yeah. it, it's a low code, zero code yeah. uh, 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 scenario. Yeah. So fire typically, and the alerts can be uh, sections of the, build, uh, of the screen. So typically can be an overlay on top of a screen doesn't need to be. So perfect. regardless of what the content is, exactly. the overlay can appear, exactly. that could even be. And this, you design it in Aya. Anyone can design yeah, it. The nice thing about this is you theoretically could put that button anywhere in the building so anyone would have access to yes. to it's I, IP and cloud-based. Yeah. Anyone can do it. Okay, and this this is because of a connection to QSIS, which is ultimately taking control of yes. the media button. Uh, yeah, oh, and the, we are compatible with the uh, most of the automation. Yeah, so it's Prestron, either way. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, good. Exactly. So let's jump into IPTV, okay. IP streaming. Okay. So um, IP streaming is about uh, taking a, f a, a, a f data flow, a stream out of a streamer, whether you have two, 20, or 200 streams. Yeah. You then uh, transport this stream through uh, multicast or unicast, RTP. Or this is what I typically see for digital yeah, exactly. energy in a restaurant. So, Restaurants, stadium, um, but as well live events. Yeah. Within uh, in buildings. this particular case, interestingly enough, this you're you're here in the building actually taking from your own club the content uh, that that if you had an artist performing the night before and replaying it the next day is part of the sign. Yes, or live as well. Yeah. Uh, when there is a a, a SpaceX a lounge, yeah. uh, we 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 okay. all watch it through YouTube uh, uh, layer, which is what you're here. Yes. This is YouTube feed directly from Lake Geneva. Yes, well, and with the CCTV live camera that you see here. Yeah. So, uh, so this camera here yes, is exactly. actually shooting what we're doing. In exactly, exactly. Yeah. Hotel scenario, typically, yeah. every hotel uh, in Switzerland have a most beautiful view of the yeah. nearest mountain, uh, in a bar, or in the stadium, the live events. And this is more corporate with, as you see, we can overlay some widgets. Yeah. And um, that so, so this is actually coming from the signage player here and here? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. That's overlaid. So you can top. place those widgets anywhere you want them to go. Yeah, exactly. That's a multi-layer, multi-zone technology. Oh, very interesting. Okay. Good. And uh, all this is compatible with every player. So I can use yes. any player to do interactivity or static digital signage or right. whatever I want to So do. the players, so we have like five now, five range of players. Mm -hmm. We have uh, uh, Intel-based uh, Nuke players, yeah. SDM uh, within the screen. We have built-in inside the screen with small form factor screens. We have the IBX uh, port uh, portfolio and the HMP, uh, award-winning HMP uh, portfolio. And the IBX port one is the four output that we just gave the award to exactly. uh, for uh, best of show at uh, ISE. So it's a four output um, so it's, it allows you to drive four sources at the same time, like, or four displays at the same time, but also in a, this could also be in a video wall configuration like we showed up front. So it's also, in addition to a signage player, it's also a video wall processor and okay. a very inexpensive way to do. And you can, you can tie two or four or six exactly. together to make it a larger video. Exactly. They're all synchronized through the network, through NTP. Yeah. One of my biggest uh, video wall uh, project was 450 uh, screens. I guess where that's an airport. Yes, that's an airport. Yeah. And that's one line of screens where it's fully uh, synchronized all together and running perfectly. Good. All right. Well, look, to find out more information on this, go to spinetics.com, S P I N E T I X.com. And uh, we're also going to do a in depth, deep dive look at the ARIA platform, which is their cloud based management platform. So, if you want to check that out, uh, do a search on our video on our page at ravepubs.com and just just search Fanatics and you'll find that. So let's go do that now. Thank you, Gary. Let's go and jump into it. Thank you, Nicola.